Today we have a new home to share with you and we are calling it our Pinebrook Project. It's a spec home, which means we design the home before someone buys it. We wanted to create a space that was inviting and warm and very transitional so it would appeal to a wide array of potential buyers. We decided to stage it so we could show you a few of the spaces. Let's start in the living room. The first selection that we made in here was the hardwood floors. I knew I wanted to do something a bit warmer in kind of the medium brown tone. So that is carried throughout the entire main level. And then I loved this dark stone surround paired with that medium brown tone. You know, brown tones are coming back in a big way, but I wanted to balance out the warm and the cool. So we started there and then designed this beautiful custom fireplace that has clean lines, a little bit of detail, and then two built-ins that flanked either side. Originally, we started by designing them to be white, but I felt like the room needed some extra oomph, so we went to a wood stain that matches the floors. The built-ins provided the perfect backdrop to showcase a ton of beautiful McGee Co. accessories. We've mixed in objects, books, trays, boxes, even artwork into the shelves. Let's turn our focus to the sofa. This is one of our latest exclusive designs, and I just love the bolster pillows and the wood base around the bottom. With solid upholstery on the sofa, and the chairs. We wanted to shake things up by doing a really cool pattern on the rug. I love the dark blue broken stripe, the fringe detail on the ends of the rug, and then it has this tiny little bow tie in a warm gray, and it just adds a little bit of interest to the clean lines of the rug. The Eileen console table is one of our top sellers at Maggie & Co. So we decided that we'd start with the console and then it had to be turned into a coffee table as well. It has this beautiful white oak tone and exposed joinery detail. In the dining nook, it's a beautiful space to begin with. It has windows on all three sides, and we started by selecting this great lantern as the focal point and paired our new trestle table with it. It has an extension, which is so awesome, and then did black spindle chairs around to pair with the light. We had all of these new pieces in there. We knew we needed to balance it out a little bit and incorporated a few vintage artwork pieces and then vintage inspired pieces as well. With the oak dining table, the black chairs, the white walls, we needed something to tie all of those tones together. And the James Woven rug was the perfect piece to do just that. This kitchen turned out so beautifully with the putty cabinetry, brass fixtures, and then these tall cabinets on either side of the range. We did a wood back to tie in with the floors and then styled it with lots of beautiful pieces from our kitchen collection. And then one of my favorite pieces makes it front and center in the kitchen, and that is this counter stool. I actually have the dining chair version of this chair in my own home, and this gives you a chance to see it in a kitchen, and it looks beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned because our next webisode will be featuring the master suite in this home, and we are showing you the bedroom designed two different ways.